He's the builder with a head for design. And he's getting ready for a big debut where the rides are cool and the stakes are high. This is the show. It's, it's a huge show, you know. It's the Grand National Roadster Show, and Bodie Stroud is looking to impress the judges. If you take something home from here, it's a, it's a, I consider it a great achievement. For this guy, it's not about fancy drawings. He builds from the heart, and his latest project is a big one. Get ready for Bodie Stroud and the creation of his killer 56 pickup. I picture the whole car, and I picture it going with the car, and I see exactly how I want it. All here today on Hot Rod TV. I see all the lines the way I want them. I see the way I want it to fit, and uh, it looks really cool. You should be there. Coming your way right now. cool cars and trucks, you're going to like this guy. He's Bodie Stroud, a vehicle builder with a passion for his work. And if you're a gearhead, this is going to sound familiar. I've just always liked grinding, welding, hitting. Something about it excites me. I've been doing it since, shoot, I can, can remember. The guy's an artist. Everything he's touched has been good. Scott Burdett is the owner of Bodie's next big project. When we first talked, I mean, he was just getting ready to open up his shop and stuff. And he, I asked him, I said, are you willing to take this truck on? You know, And he said, yeah, I'd totally. Cool truck, dude. We got 28 days, roughly, to the uh, Grand National Roadster Show. Yes, they plan on taking the completed ride to the Grand National Roadster Show an event with more trucks than hot rodders might think. We already have a spot for it, so it's kind of what we're aiming for, but you know, we got a lot left to do. Bodie started on this 56 Ford a year ago when it came to him as a pile of junk. It's been quite a journey. I've boxed the whole chassis. I ran tubing through the chassis for all the electrical, so you don't see any electrical on the frame or up in the engine compartment. Welded in a four-link suspension, 19-gallon fuel cell, three-inch exhaust, air ride, front and rear. And as you can see, we've ran all the uh, air lines through the chassis. It's going to be a busy day today. We're going to try and get as much of the sheet metal on as we can. Uh, we're going to put the cab on, put the front end on, put the grill start running some electrical, try and get most of the air ride maybe working today. We'll assemble the bed, maybe put rear fenders on, front tires, and see how far we can get it going today. It wants to hit the fuel regulator up there, so uh, we just got to kind of watch it. It just goes down perfect. I don't want to scratch anything, so it's a $20,000 paint job, so. Any builder will tell you, these are the times when mistakes are not an option. So much work has already been done. It's the home stretch, where the right amount of attention can either make or break a show truck. That was easy. Let's start hanging the fenders. The fit and form of the combined parts, that interlocking element, will be key as the judges do their work at the Grand National Roadster Show, a venue where perfection is the name of the game. Kind of like a jigsaw puzzle, too, because everything kind of overlaps everything. Oh, and by the way, for all you Mopar guys, check this out. This 56 big window might be a ship, but its engine compartment is housing a 58 blown Chrysler Hemi, delivering 750 horsepower. Can you see what I'm doing? Because I can't. The transmission is a B&M Turbo 400 with a 3500 stall speed converter. Uh, we're going to assemble the bed. We're going to put the fenders on today, rear fenders on. Um, put the rear roll pan on. Rear passenger. It'll be a classic truck bed in the 50s style, complete with polished wood planks held together by metal rails. It's going to be kind of tricky because of these wheel wells, you gotta try and 
You're gonna have to squeeze them till we get the metal, the stainless strips in there. We also cut uh, a hole in one of the pieces to allow the filler neck for, for your gas. We've moved the fuel tank to the back of the, the chassis. Bodie had to get every inch of this truck pre-planed down to the smallest degree with custom touches all throughout the pickup. Bitchin'. Looks good so far, but they have a ways to go before the show. When we return, it's the rapid evolution of Bodie's Cool 56. We're back with Hot Rod TV and the artistry of builder Bodie Stroud on his way to the Grand National Roadster Show. It's gonna look really good. I think we'll be finished just in time for the Grand National, so. Bodie and I have known each other since we were probably, I'd say about 12. Played baseball together, gone to school together, um, got on double dates together. An ex-girlfriend of mine that I hooked up with and her dad was into uh, the largest pickup club so I just started watching him and going to all the car shows and everything. And I was in, at the time, to all my lowered uh, Toyotas and stuff with the hydraulic beds. Finally, I started uh, just getting into this stuff, old stuff, and working on it and building it. And I just started one day tearing them all the way down and going for it. Well, he's really going for it this time. Bodie has redesigned this old Ford at every turn, and at the moment, Classic wood bed is getting one meticulous treatment. You got the cab on, the front end on, a lot of electrical. We're gonna assemble the bed. Bodie knows his trucks. He's reinvented this 56 for his pal, Scott Burdett. But they have a lot to do before it's finished. They gotta move it. getting ready to put the running boards on, so we gotta drill the holes to mount the running boards. As we've been seeing, this team is working with a fully painted set of parts. And if they're not very careful, well, they won't need to show up at the Grand National Roadster Show. Let's set it up there, see where we're at. Come a long way. We got uh, the bed on. It's uh, the rear fenders, the running boards. It's finally starting to look like a truck. We finally start to see the finished product. Okay, you guys want to grab a side? Guide me. You know, we've never seen it this close yet, so it's actually like it's coming to life. So it's pretty exciting to actually step back and see the thing, and how, you know how beautiful it really looks, and what a good job that all the guys and myself did. Yeah, I look bitchin'. That looks cool. So the next big thing that we got going in is gonna be steering column, steering wheel, upholstery. Upholstery is gonna be a big deal. Upholstery is really gonna change the whole truck. You know what I mean? It's gonna just add that nice finished touch to it. Well, we're gonna drill the holes for the gauges. Um, I usually drill the holes first. Due to the tight deadline between now and the show, Bodie has to drill the gauge holes on the painted dash. He needs to work carefully, making sure he doesn't chip or scratch anything. Nice. This is what was in there. Take this out. We've taken a stock dash piece, and I've welded a plate in here. Cut two holes for the tack and the speedometer. Uh, what we got here is Mitchell's mocked us up a nice little cardboard rendition of how we're gonna have the center console, which will eventually be made out of steel. As often as he can, Bodie likes to create pieces fully from scratch, especially when they're pieces that are totally new to the vehicle. When you're trying to make something that was never there in the first place, you know, but should have been there. got the center console. Let's see how she fits. 
before I go any further on my welding. Oh, it's perfect. We got uh, Hector ready for upholstery. I met Modi through another friend. Uh, he did one of his buddy's truck in another truck. And this is the 356 we do for him. Hector from Bill Dunn has to get it done and fast. This interior needs to be completed and in the truck before anyone is going to the Grand National Roadster Show. Most challenging thing about this truck is the time. It's all coming together. It's actually better than, than I was thinking, you know? I hope we win something, you know? That'd be great. First time out, actually Bodie's second show, you know? He wins something before, I hope our truck wins something. Hey, Scott. Hey, Bodie, how you doing, man? Good. What do you think? Cool, that looks bitchin'. Go right here on the hood. Yeah. That look nice. There's a lot to get done before they can close the hood and go to the show. And what about that hood? You'll see when we return to Hot Rod TV. You're back with Hot Rod TV and the truck building world of Bodie Stroud, a customizer on his way to the Grand National Roadster Show in Pomona, California. The owner of the truck is Scott Burdett. I'm just nervous that we're going to have everything ready, you know. We've got a big timeline, and there's a lot of things left to do yet, you know. Um, it's looking good, though. Got my fingers crossed. So all we got left to do today is upholstery. The team at Bill Dunn is working overtime, creating an all-custom interior to go with the rest of Bodie's design. Yeah, there's the passenger side door panel, man. Pretty much ready to go. All you need is the armrest. And once that's in, you know, it's gonna really pop, man. Yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah. We just gotta fit it, make sure it fits. Now we gotta turn this bracket a little bit up. So it'll give us the angle that we need. Before the seat can be upholstered, the crew performs a test fitting to see if the brackets and the hardware are lining up right. They also need to see if the new foam is creating the shape they need. The whole process of building the car, the car is really dirty, and uh, we only got a couple days to the show, so we, uh, we're gonna need a little help with the detailing, so we invited Jim over from Mothers to, to give us a, a real professional hand in making the thing shine real pretty. Hey, Jim. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Good. How you doing, man? Looking nice. Thanks. Yep, well, we got a couple days. Got a lot of detailing ahead of us. If you ever saw a ride that didn't beam like the sun, you probably didn't see it at a top car show. Show vehicles are all different, but they almost always shine. We recommend using Showtime in a nice, soft uh, microfiber towel rather than a duster. Showtime can be used on glass, it can be used on wheels, uh, paint, obviously. Uh, anything that's got a dust, a bit of dust on it, you need removed. Hope when they see this truck, they see a little different. Every truck or every car that I do, or that we do here at Build On, it's different from one to the other. We try to incorporate uh, the customer's ideas with our cre creativity. What I want to do is I want to make sure that everything fits nice before we put it in, before we tighten anything. We just make sure everything fits the way it's supposed to fit. We got the hood over at the painters. That's going to be one of the last items on the list and uh, the hood springs, but I think it's all going to come together. Gentlemen, welcome to the 59th Annual Grand National Roadster Show, the granddaddy of them all. The truck's about 90% finished. The only thing we did not finish was the hood. We got it to paint, but it just wasn't dry enough for him to color sand and rub out, so. But we got it here. Yes, they really are going to show it without the hood. And you have to say that the nearly completed truck paints one very pretty picture, with everyone at the event looking quite impressed. This is the show. It's, it's a huge show, you know. So if you, if you take something home from here, it's a, it's a 
I consider it a great achievement. Coming up, we'll see if Bodie and Scott can find their way to the winner's circle when we return to Hot Rod TV. We're back with Hot Rod TV at the Grand National Roadster Show, and we're with award-winning truck builder Bodie Stroud. Bodie's entry in this year's event is a cool 56 Ford pickup. It's a truck that almost missed the deadline for the show. Well, we're here. We made it to the Roadster Show. We barely got here. Now that we're here, let's check out both the rides and the attendees. This show is one of the most prestigious shows, I think, in the United States. It's a, just an incredible show, absolutely unbelievable cars out there. It's a great show. It's one of the best. It's the best show of the year, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, there's a ton of history there. I mean, that's hot rod history right there on that, on that plaque, right there. A lot of names that I remembered when I was a kid. This is the show that gives out the prestigious AMBR Award. Grand National Roadster Show is in its uh, 59th year, and uh, the show uh, was formerly known as the Oakland Roadster Show. It could have been in Oakland for so many of those years. Uh, moved down to Pomona five years ago. It's our fifth year here in Pomona. When it moved to Pomona, we had uh, three buildings, and we've seen this event grow now to cover the entire Fairplex grounds with uh, eight buildings as well as an outdoor car show. They honor America's most beautiful roadster at this show, but there's a lot more here than just roadsters. You can see that by just looking around. If you were trying to soak in every detail and everything that, that these guys have put into these cars, you could be here a week. You know? say you could spend a day in each building. Yeah. But the quality of the cars that got here at the show is just absolutely, just absolutely great. Yeah, the Grand National Roadster Show is more than just roadsters. It is an incredible car show. It's something I've been coming to since I was yeah, a little young, kid. Young. About that high on Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a theme this year, a Las Vegas theme at the show, and they brought out the Vegas cars. Something to take a look at. There's wonderful customs, there's rat rods. There's an incredible motorcycle competition. This show has everything. And everything here is the very best of its type, category, or class. You got the cream of the crop here at this show, and you get to look, get up close and personal with what they've built and get a true appreciation for them that sometimes you can't even get in a magazine. Being that we're from the West Coast, I know for both of us, it's kind of like the Super Bowl of the hot rod world. Um, doesn't get any better than this as far as uh, debut in a new car. Um, and also, again, for us, because we work on them, really to just show off craftsmanship and push the envelope of what you can do. You know, I'm sure there's some anxiety there, you know. Uh, there's a lot of money, then a lot of effort put into these automobiles. And, and I, I would say, you know, it's got to be a little bit anxious, huh? For whether we win or lose, it doesn't really matter. Well, Bodie said a win wouldn't matter, but it sure would be nice. Let's see if it can happen when we return with more Hot Rod TV. Hot Rod TV is with Bodie Stroud, a truck builder competing at the Grand National Roadster Show. His truck, a cool 56. The best thing is about finishing one of these projects is just the self-gratification. It sounds unreal, it's just loud and obnoxious, and I can take it out on the street for the first time and I can light them up down the street. That's the best feeling in the world. According to Bodie, he's already won. And then going to the shows or whatever and having people, you know, take a lot of pictures, look at it. They'll stand there around and they all pose in front of it, and it's like, wow, you know? And it's like Bodie said, an award can mean a lot when you worked hard to get it. He knows he earned it. This is the semi pickup, and we are doing a class award for North Hollywood's Bodie Stroud and his 56 Ford F100. We, uh, we went to the show, we did pretty good. We got a second, I think that's really good. 
uh, for our first time at the Roadster Show. Those truly are great awards, but recognition from your peers is also a nice thing to have as well. Just all the hard work you've put into it, you finally get something for it, you know, and you, uh, it just feels good. I can't wait to get out and get on it and see what it's got and to really take it for a test drive. We haven't even driven it, really. We've put it on a trailer and, you know, it seems to run fine. It drives on and off the trailer and drives in here, but I want to take it out in the parking lot and get on it and see what you got. Like many a custom builder, Cody Stroud knows that even a perfect car show vehicle is meant to be driven. And when it has a fully exposed Hemi, really driven. This is that thing. thing sounds cool, man. That sounds really nice. It's running good, man. It's nice, nice and smooth. And to Scott Burdett, the owner of the truck, it's all a dream come true. To me, the truck is special. It has a lot of meaning to me because I've, I've had a truck like this since I was a kid. He's really happy. I mean, man, he took the second at a PLA Roadster show. It doesn't get any better than that, you know? For Bodie, this is all about continuing to perfect his unique style of design. I like things plain and smooth. I like the lines to all go together. I like everything to, to fit. And like, I don't know. The way I see it, I see it certain lines that all match and go together. I just, I don't know, I don't have any kind of style. It's just weird, it just comes to me. When someone drops off a car, I instantly see it and just, okay. So as Bodie takes his award-winning truck for another cruise around the block, we know we'll see you next time on Hot Rod TV.